In this problem, we have a 5 kilogram box on the ground. The mu k, the coefficient of kinetic friction, is 0.2 between the box and the ground. And here you have a 20 newton slanted force pulling on the box at 30 degree angle above the horizontal. The box is pulled along the ground for 3 meters. And we want to find the work done by every force acting on the box, and the work done by the net force, and the change in kinetic energy of the box. So for part A, we want to find the work done by every force acting on the box. There is the non-contact force, mg. There is the 20 newton slanted force it is touching. It is also touching the ground contact surface. So we have normal force and uh, friction. So let's start with the mg. Box is 5 kilograms. mg would be 50 newtons downward. The displacement is 3 meters to the right. The angle between the two would be 90 degrees. So this is 0. No work is being done by the mg because the mg has no component along the displacement. Now, 20 newtons. The 20 newtons slanted 3 meters to the right. What is the angle between these two vectors? It's the 30 degrees. So if you do this calculation, you'll get 52 joules. Now, of course, you can also find the parallel component of the force, the component of the force that's parallel to the displacement 3 meters. This parallel component is adjacent to the angle, so it's a cosine. So it's 20 times the cosine 30 degrees. That's the parallel component times the displacement, and the angle between those two will be 0 degrees. Of course, you're going to get exactly the same 52 joules. Now for the normal force, it doesn't matter how much normal force is, it's going to be upward displacement to the right. The angle between the two is 90 degrees, so this is going to be 0. No work is being done because the box is sliding along a surface. Displacement is along the surface when the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. So you're, you're going to get 90 degrees. The work done is zero. To find the work done by friction, the first thing we have to do is to find the friction. Friction is mu k times the normal force. Now, of course, the mu k is 0.2, but what is the normal force? The normal force in this case is not the weight of the box, not 50, because this slanted force has a component going upward that complicates things. The upward component is opposite to the angle, so it's 20 times sine 30 degrees, which is 10, which means that this slanted force has a component 10 newtons lifting this box a little bit, so the box seems lighter to the ground. So the normal force on the ground would be 50 minus 10 because of this upward force. Of course, you can also choose to draw the force diagram to figure that out. To find the normal force, you just need the vertical forces. The vertical forces we have will be the mg50. The normal force is an upward vertical force. This one has an upward component that's uh, 10 newtons. Those are the only vertical forces. And the acceleration, if there's any acceleration, the acceleration will go horizontal. So there is no acceleration in the y direction. That means the net force in the y direction is zero. The upward force is equal to the downward force. 10 plus normal force equals to 50. So normal force is 50 minus 10. So this gives us uh, 8 newtons for the friction. So friction is 8 newtons. The box slides to the right. 
friction is against the sliding motion to the left. The displacement is 3 meters to the right. What is the angle between those two? It's uh, 180 degrees. And the cosine 180 is negative 1. So this gives us a negative 24 joules. What does the negative work mean? The negative work means uh, friction takes 24 joules away from the box. Where does the energy go? This gets uh, 24 joules gets turned into heat. When friction takes energy away, kinetic friction takes energy away, it turns it into heat. That's why in the winter time, if you do this, you'll be able to warm up your hands because there's a friction and this friction takes energy away, does negative work and turns your kinetic energy, the motion here, into heat. Now part B, we want to find the work done by the net force. So of course we can find the net force times the displacement times cosine the angle between the two. Now you can find the net force. The net force is going to be horizontal. So we will need to draw the horizontal forces. The horizontal component of the slanted force is 20 times cosine 30 degrees. This is 17. So you have 17 to the right, and uh, another horizontal force is the friction going back that way. Friction is uh, 8. So the net force will be the bigger side minus the smaller side, 17 minus 8. And you can put it here and then find the work done by the net force. Now the work done by the net force is also the work done by all of the forces added together. We already found the work done by every force acting on the object. So to find the work done by all of the forces added together, it will be just 0 plus 52 plus 0 plus negative 24. And so this gives us a positive 28 joules. Now, of course, if you've done this, plugging in the net force, which is 17 minus 8 to the right, and the displacement is 3 meters to the right and cosine 0 degrees, you would get the same thing, 28 joules. If your number is not exactly 28 joules, that's just because of the rounding we did on the two sides. But they are supposed to be exactly the same. In this case, the mg does no work. The slanted force gives the box 52 joules of energy. The normal force doesn't do any work. Friction takes away 24 joules and turns it into heat. So the box gets a net gain of energy of 28 joules. Now for part C, we want the change in kinetic energy of the box. The change in kinetic energy of the box, according to the work energy theorem, it is the same as the work done by the net force. So it is also 28 joules. The delta K is positive 28. That means the change is positive. The kinetic energy increases by 28 joules.